So on to our special discussion on the buck stops here this evening. How did a regular hearing on a divorce case end up becoming such a heated debate? What is Sita for the woman and indeed the man of 2012? Is she synonymous with sacrifice, an idea that no longer appeals particularly to anybody? Or can she be reinterpreted in very personal terms by feminists and well, pretty much make her into whatever you want to believe of her. That's our program's focus this evening. Let's introduce our panel this evening. Joining us from Lucknow is Amir Raza Hossein, theatre personality, but also the director of the play, The Legend of Ram. With us in the studio, Malvika Rajkotia, who's of course an advocate and a particularly outspoken uh, person on gender rights and issues. Joining us from Chennai tonight is Nandita Krishna, historian and writer. With us in the studio, Madhurita Anand. She's an independent filmmaker who's the director of laying Janki to rest and also a contributor to the anthology In Search of Sita. Also with us in the studio is Sanjay Srivastav, Professor of Sociology with the Institute of Economic Growth. And joining us from Tiruvananthapuram tonight is Rahul Ishwar, spokesperson with the Shabrimala Tantri. Uh, if I may start with you, Malvika, uh, there is of course the whole issue of Sita and what she stands for and whether she stands for any one thing at all. But first, the very idea of a Bombay High Court bench, uh, basically advising a woman to pack up her bags and follow her husband. Uh, to me, this seems to cross the Lakshman Rekha pun fully intended. I, I agree with you. In fact, judges are not supposed, but judges try. You see, I, in all fairness, they have a very, very difficult job as far as matrimonial <laughs> litigation goes, which is true of all of us as lawyers also. Yeah. You end up being path counsellor, you end up, but yet there are parameters within yeah. which you have to step back. Yeah. Now, this is perhaps a time of stepping back when there's a decision to be taken of this. So but he's not ruled. It's an observation. See, we must it, say it's an observation. The, so and it's, the other it's, it's thing a kind is, of loud autumn court. That's all. Right. Now, the other thing is that when they are so, they're dealing with 60 matters. Now, to lighten the atmosphere, if they want to say something casually, there are jokes that are made. There's a bit of rhetoric. <coughs> there can be fights. I You're mean, saying they may not have happens. anticipated the media attention these comments would exactly, have Exactly. Exactly. Because but he, he would say, never yeah. rule like this, I can no, tell you for but sure. But Malvika, per se, there's a thinking there. And yes. this is an observation. Observation, but there's a thinking there that good women follow their husbands. Oh, for sure, for sure. Right? Just because he didn't say it doesn't mean... He doesn't know. think it. And people who don't say it, I'm not saying that he would. they wouldn't think it. There are more people who think so than not. Continue to. Having said which, in the 70s, the Supreme Court had already ruled that a matrimonial home cannot be... And I'm talking of the 70s. Matrimonial home cannot be limited to as created as the husband's house. Yeah. Matrimonial house can also follow the wife. And in that particular case, the wife was a teacher and needed to, you know, be in a transferable job. So let's let's get to, in fact, the the, the icon held up or the, to this to this woman uh, who does not want to move with her husband to Port Blair, and it is that of Goddess Sita, as the court says, all married women, Madhurita, should take their cue from Goddess Sita. Now there are two ways of looking at this. One is 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 the intuitive. What is that about? Yeah. And the other is to say that when Sita is invoked today, mm. do we invoke a long-suffering wife, somebody who we recognize as a victim, who in the end got a, wrong, a raw deal but remained devoted to her husband? Or do we, as so many of you have, uh, you both in your essay and in your film, uh, uh, try to interpret Sita in very modern terms? What is Sita to you? No, I think the the issue really is that Sita, the image of Sita has been, as it's been put out there, is a manipulated one. Yeah. Because Sita herself, if you look at the story, was quite strong. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the Swamvar story, as you know, you know, the bow that uh, was called upon that, you know, some prince should come and break it. Yeah. The reason that was set up was because Sita could lift the bow with one hand. That was her moral strength. Yeah. That's the woman we're talking about. But somehow through... <laughs> Over the, the ages, ages, the way the story has been yes, told. so it's, it's been manipulated. And what has happened is that the effect of this myth on the Indian woman has been immense. You know, whether we recognize it or not, we either trying to rebel against it or be like it. But, you know, that myth is very, very strong. I mean, even the Agni Pariksha, um, you know, the burning of women, it, it, to me, it seems somewhat linked. Yeah. So, so you're actually uh, saying that yeah. in those images or in, 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 in the invocation of those images, you're connecting them to present dowry deaths? Yes, I think so. And yet you're saying that it's a narrative that's been manipulated. Yes. 
Sanjay Srivastav, that's, that's, that, that's something that not many people would come out and say today. Mm -hmm. You know, to actually say that violence against women somehow finds its sanction yes. in that original image of the Agni Pariksha. But ironically, Madhurita is also arguing that it's a narrative that has been manipulated mm -hmm. by, uh, by patriarchy. It's yes. a narrative that hasn't been rescued from patriarchy. Yeah. Yeah. So is the invocation of the court uh, yeah. of Sita uh, retrograde? Or is it, in fact, whatever you choose it to be? Yeah. Well, you know, one of the one of the big problems we have is that whenever we want to think about ideal people, we always refer to the past as if the past is some kind of unique yeah. guide to how we live now. And yeah. we always so God knows we have enough examples of women who who could be role models from Sarojini Naidu to Iram Sharmila to yeah. Mahashata Devi to Barkha Dutt to women sitting around here. But we consistently refer to the past as the model for the present. And I think part of that has to do with the fact that we are really anxious about the present. Mm. That we think the present is completely out of control. Things have changed so much. Women are doing kinds of things that they should not be doing. So there's a real... You're saying we make people, we make the narrative nervous. I'm we not, as in any of us I'm women. saying that there's yeah. a masculine narrative of the present yes. which says that all these changes that are happening are not good. So. If we irrevocably refer to the past as if it's just some kind of a guide. So if you look at various public pronouncements about the ideal Indian culture, we always assume that there's something that happened 500 years ago should be the model for what should happen now. There's absolutely no reason why the past is any good guide to what we should do That's in the present. That's interesting. You're saying if the, if the bench had to invoke somebody at all... Why not now? Why not someone more contemporary? Yeah, my, my issue is that there are also uh, other role models from the past he could have invoked, but he chose Sita. And we choose Sita again and again and again because somehow she has been the sort of role model for the long-suffering But uh, Sita woman. was also, I mean, she to was, put it yeah. bluntly, also a single mother. For some yes, time. Yes, right. absolutely. That, I mean, that you could have been. That and could and have been. Meghna Desai, in that very book which you mentioned, in his essay, says exercise great control, exercise control over her reproductive powers because she did not produce a child till she was queen. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news, and your own homemade, ready made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.